that after a few years of talking to your to your TV, talking to your TV about Call of Duty, you would get better at it. But honestly, I don't feel like I've gotten any better at commentaries since I started YouTube. Okay, since I started, yes, definitely better. But oh my god, it's it's still so hard sometimes. This is like my seventh take, eighth take trying to do this. It's it's a it's a topic that you know that touches a lot of nerves. I've been really trying to get this like on point, but I really don't think that I am. So I'm just gonna you know I'm gonna take it a little bit slower and just just talk to you guys. Try and not mumble for too long. I'm just gonna talk to you guys. Okay, Call of Duty community. I don't think it's dead. I do not think the Call of Duty community is dead. And uh, there's been a lot of people talking about it, like saying that you know YouTube's dead. You know, sniping, trick shotting, dead. I don't think so. I think people are just afraid of a challenge. Honestly, I'm just going to say it. I'm sorry if any of the words I say in this video offend you, uh, but feel free to put your opinion down in the comment section below. We might have some really big, uh, some fights, some really big Call of Duty fights, you know, sweat fest. But okay, so I do not think Call of Duty is dead. I don't think that it's, it's really anywhere close to being dead. And that's that. You know, Call of Duty's not dead. Okay, I'm going to give you guys my opinion why. There's other games, right? There's other games that people have been playing. Like, for instance, Counter-Strike. People have been playing Call of Duty for, you know, five, six, seven years. People have been around for a long time. And they just didn't, they didn't fancy playing Black Ops 3. They don't fancy it. They don't enjoy it. And, you know, honestly, I don't think that, you know, these people that have left and are uploading other stuff are going to come back. I really just, I don't think that they're going to come back. I think they're going to stick to some other stuff, you know, CSGO, you know, maybe branch out to some other stuff, but I, I don't think the people who have left Black Ops 3, honestly, are going to come back, unless they made, like, insane changes or something. It's just, it's not going to happen. And so, you know, we got this community now. I think everybody who's in the community at this point is here to stay and uh, here to, you know, help and do what they can to help this community that we now have grow. And, uh, you know, I think people lose motivation because of what's going on with all the teams and stuff. You know, there's teams like Red who just have a bunch of, you know, Obey who have content creators, not so much montage makers. And, you know, I feel like people get really discouraged by that because they see these teams that, you know, were once monumental sniping teams and they just always had like a big goal to join. And now there's people who don't necessarily make montages who are, you know, getting in front of them. And that's just, that's because the community's changing. It's not because Call of Duty's dying. I think it's just because YouTube, you know, people have gone more towards the YouTube than necessarily Call of Duty. Oh, okay. And um, that's, that's just how it is. And that's how, you know, Call of Duty's changing, YouTube's changing, teams are changing. You know, Black Ops 3, okay, let me ask you guys this. When was the last time you played a Call of Duty or saw a Call of Duty that people, like, really, really stood out? That, you know, there was people who stood out and, uh, oh, please, please. People really stood out in a game. You know, it hasn't happened for a while. Black Ops 2, you know, there's a few people who really, really stood out. Like, Outcast when Black Ops 2 came, first came out, he stood out like no other. Like, he was, he was God. You know, Black Ops 3... People stand out. People definitely stand out. And it, it's making Call of Duty really enjoyable again because you're seeing these people with really great content. And you know there's there's few people that you can just go to and really just get really quality videos from because Black Ops 3 is hard. And I really think that people aren't playing it because it, it is a challenge. Remember back in the day when you would grind so long. You would grind so long so hard to just to get one trick shot right you'd play search and destroy for for you know days on days and just grind out with your friends that's another thing i'm gonna get to grind out with your friends just you know hitting bills having a good time but it was it wouldn't come easy it wouldn't come easy and uh i really think that people just aren't putting in so much of the time you know there's people who really are putting in the time and it's showing off it is showing off it is definitely a skill-based game you know, other than people who are doing like one hit wonder quads, like who hits quads these days. You know? I mean, if you're my stream, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys that I might have hit. 
Uh, <laughs> I kind of just did. Okay, just, you know, the next phase team Taj is coming out. You know, it's it's getting sorted. Just just watch. Just wait for it, you know. Your boy Dirty's got some good clips in that. But no, what I'm saying is, you know, people who stand out are the people who are grinding. And that's just how it is. That's how it used to be. Black Ops 2 was so easy. Oh my god. And so boring that anyone could stand. They didn't even stand out. The game was so repetitive. And, you know, even people going back to multi-cod, it just, it really, it, I hate it. You know, I am always for Black Ops 3. And, uh, okay, let me tell you guys about it. This game is called Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You know, it came out last year, and all it just it just started on a downward spiral. You know, the kill feed was like 20 minutes long, and people, it, that I really think that just threw it off for snipers, the whole kill feed thing, and it, just, it threw everything off. But I tried really hard, oh, that's an enemy. I tried really hard to enjoy Advanced Warfare, and it didn't work out. I have not had so much fun with a Call of Duty release, other than Black Ops 3. Honestly, Black Ops 3, I have had so much fun. It has been a complete blast. I've been enjoying it and loving it. And it's just, it's been great. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I'm going to try and get to my point. I do not think Call of Duty is dying. I think that we need this community that we have now to rev not necessarily revive it because it's not dead. But just, you know, keep doing what we're doing. Stick together. Have a good time. Enjoy montages. You know, grind for yourself. Don't grind necessarily get into a team just grind for yourself you know make what you make what makes you happy do what makes you happy you know play with friends that's another thing that's what i was going to say is if you don't have friends you know honestly make friends you know if play ground war you know you see another sniper you know be like yo bro let's party up i cannot tell you guys how many friends i made on black ops 2 ground war just just doing that like even you know search and destroy you know, church artists, you probably won't make many friends because, you know, all people do in Search and Destroy is talk shit, pretty much. But, uh, you know, don't be afraid to message somebody, be like, hey man, you want to party up. Don't be shy, make friends, have a good time. Because I can tell you guys, with the Grind Squad, I've had so much fun playing this game. And a huge chunk of it is because of them. Because we've been grinding, making videos, and just enjoying the game. You know, play with your friends. Just just have a good time. Call of Duty is not dying. The people who are good at it stand out. It's awesome. It's really nice. This message goes, I would say, more for snipers, to be honest. You know, because I don't watch a whole lot of trick shotting because trick shotting has been really hard. And, you know, there people haven't... Okay, Carl. Carl has been grinding. Carl's montage the other day was insane. It was really good. And he's been grinding and he worked for it and it paid off. You know, things like that. Like, he... He grinded. You just gotta grind. That's what it is. The game isn't easy. It's not Black Ops 2. Alright, I'm rambling. This I'm this take, I'm just gonna put it in. I'm just gonna use this take and just just tell me what you guys think. You know, I've uh There's been a lot of talk on this and I just wanted to give you guys my two cents. Call of Duty's not dying the franchise is growing you know esports that's kind of a different section but esports is even growing you know the whole call of duty franchise <laughs> teams coming into call of duty that you know own huge like league of legends csgo teams like clg tsm you know i wouldn't be surprised if fanatic or they might already have one i don't know there's big teams that are coming to call of duty because they see the growth and it it's gonna be crazy i i think even like one of the big teams is going to be making a YouTube team. Like, like I don't, I don't know if it was like Cloud Nine or Seal. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think in the description below. I honestly believe that this is how it is. And uh, I'm sorry if I rambled for super long. Uh, I just been trying to make this video, and it's taken me quite a few times because I want to get it right. But you know, that's how it is. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop talking now. I'll catch you guys later, Sturdy. I'm out.